West Marine, our first visit as boat owners. Our first visit. visit. And what did we buy? Um, we Tampons for the bilge. Bilge. <laughs> until we deal with the oil. So this is called a bilge eel, and you just like dump it in there and it sucks up the oil and not the water. So it says three quart bilge absorber. So here's the interesting thing about West Marine. This one here says that it soaks up over three quarts of oil. This one says it soaks up over two quarts of oil, but they have the same skew and they're the same price. And I asked the so, guy at the counter and he's like, uh, it's just packaging. <laughs> so, so which one is right? I don't have any way to measure how many quarts of oil it picks up, but we can get at least five. <laughs> right? So it's pretty calm out here so far this morning. Getting a little bit of a breeze, but you can see how glassy the water is looking pretty good out there got our little uh, canopy up on top of the boat give us a little bit of shade today Gabe's over here fishing or at least Looking like he's fishing. Tide's a little low. All right, back to work. All right, so we're trying to pump the water out of the bilge into five gallon buckets because it's got oil in it and take it over to a oil recycling facility and um, tried those soaking pads and they're still in there. They're not really soaking up the oil like I thought they would. They don't attract the oil apparently, but they, uh, they, do, they are getting black, so they are soaking up some of the oil. Um, but I gave up kind of waiting on those. We decided to just pump it into five gallon buckets, but I can't really turn on the bilge pump. So what I did was I, I went to Lowe's. I was gonna buy a, an electric uh, pump but I got one of these handheld pumps right here. And uh, it's just kind of a multi-purpose pump. It's done by hand. It actually works pretty fast. Um, every time I pull the handle up and down, I get a full quart of oil, or full quart of water out of it. So I'm just filling these buckets up, pumping out the bilge. See, I've already got, uh, 15 gallons. I got uh, five more out there, 20, that's 35, 45 gallons worth when these two, two are finished. Oop, that's not good. I'm not supposed to like pump it out onto the floor, am I? Let me get a towel. Hang on. That is a challenge of doing things by yourself sometimes. So, 45 gallons, roughly, out of the build when I'm done with these two buckets. And we'll see when I do that, how far down the build is gone because so far, I don't see a whole ton in my mind, visually, of this thing being empty. Although I'm sure it has gone down. There are things that I see down there that I didn't see before. Wires and stuff, they're down hanging in there. So, 
it's not bad oily water at this point but I think it's too oily for us to pump out into the ocean a little too are full or as full as I want to make them for this trip Let's see if we can see where we are here. So I gotta see the kind of yucky greenish water in those. And way down in there you can see my pump. Still got quite a bit of stuff down in that build. So this is my last two buckets of oily water that I'm going to take to the bilge right here. So this is what I have here right now. Let's see if you can see. You can still see. I can see the bottom now. I'm off to the dump oil oil depository. All right. So I'm working on the bilge. Um, I pulled so far out of here, I think we figure we pulled out almost 90 gallons of water out of the bilge and taken it to the disposal. So for the last bit, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some cleaner in here and I'm going to do some scrubbing so the water that's left as I suck it out is going to suck out some of the garbage. So I'm going to start back here with the tank here. I'm going to kind of wash that off a little bit and where the uh, mast is stepped all down in there so I'm gonna spray some totally awesome I don't know if you guys have seen this or not totally awesome they sell this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and um, it really is totally awesome I'm gonna show you how it works here so I'm gonna just spray works better if you get it wet first but I don't have a whole lot of water here so I'm gonna spray that I'm gonna spray this guy here and I'm gonna wash that off how much cleaner that thing comes just from this little bit of rinsing so you saw the before that is the after. How does that look? Still working on this guy over here. But uh, it's definitely a lot cleaner than it was. And I'm going to probably wait to do most of the heavy cleaning until we can actually turn on the bilge pump. Once I clean most of the oil out of it with this cleaner and then uh, we'll pump that out, haul that to the recycling facility too because it'll have oil in the water. And once that's good enough, then we should be able to just bring a hose in here, rinse this bilge out, and let the bilge pump work and clean it out really nice.
the last, the last of the oily water. We are done. Yay. Yeah.